Well, the 144th Westminster Kennel Club dog show just five days away. Dogs are one of the most amazing creatures on this planet. They've helped us in so many ways throughout history. They work tirelessly alongside us, and you won't find a more loyal friend than a dog. In fact, if you want to experience true, unconditional love, get a dog. And there are far more breeds to choose from than people realize. From Queen Victoria's favorite dog breed to a medieval German dog breed that still exists today, here are the 20 rarest dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Sky Terrier The Sky Terrier is the oldest Scottish Terrier. As its name suggests, it was formed in the 9th century on the Isle of Skye from a natural cross between the native Celtic Terriers and the Basset Hounds belonging to the Viking invaders. It also shares this last ancestor with the Welsh Corgis. That's why they both kind of look alike. Until the 16th century, it was used exclusively for hunting foxes, badgers, and various other animals. Sky Terriers have developed thick fur and great resistance to the cold. In the 16th century, Scottish aristocrats noticed the Skye Terrier and its fur. Mary Stuart was among the first to adopt them. In 1852, Queen Victoria discovered the Skye Terrier, which quickly became her favorite breed. English subjects immediately followed the fashion launched by the Queen, and the Skye was the most fashionable canine breed in 19th century Britain. The character of the Sky Terrier is relatively far from a typical terrier because it shows absolutely no nervousness. As a result, it is well suited to life in an apartment, if it has access to enough exercise, that is, like all dogs. Quite fiery, before it's three years old, it then becomes calm and attentive to its master, whom it follows like a shadow. Extremely loyal and intelligent, it generally only obeys its master. Now, it's time for the star topic. A breeder in Montana has spent his entire career trying to create a dog with the exact same color combination of a tiger. He would have preferred directly crossing a dog and a tiger, but that's something that can't be done because tigers are felines while dogs are canines. So he had to settle for achieving a similar coat. And if this photo's anything to go by, he has succeeded. He spent decades trying different crossings. He even mixed some fox DNA in there for that bright orange color. And finally, after years of hard work, Tony was born. Out of seven puppies born in the litter, Tony was the only one with the perfect color combination on his coat. Do you think this could be a new dog breed? If so, would you own one? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Ibizan Hound The Ibizan Hound is a breed of dog originating from the Balearic Islands, four small Spanish islands in the Mediterranean. The Ibizan Hound, like other breeds of the same body type, are represented on the tombs of pharaohs and on museum pieces. The Ibizan Hound is said to be the direct descendant of the Tsem, a greyhound from ancient Egypt which has now disappeared. The Phoenicians, the Carthaginians, and perhaps also the Romans transported it via maritime trade routes and imported it to the island of Ibiza. At that time, the dog was considered particularly precious and was often given as a gift to highly respected people. The closed environment of the island has undoubtedly made it possible to keep this dog close to its original appearance. The Ibizan Hound is very affectionate and very loyal to its master, tender, and particularly gentle with children. This dog is also very appreciated for its beauty and its delicate companionship. Active, sporty, very lively, sensitive, and intelligent, it needs daily exercise with its owner with whom it develops a strong bond. It is capable of jumping to an incredible height, a sought-after characteristic for hunting in rocky terrain. However, this dog also appreciates comfy sofas and the comfort of a house. Oh, make sure to subscribe and like the video or you will never be able to pet a dog again. The worst curse in history.
Number 18. Cirneco dell'Etna. The Cirneco dell'Etna is a dog originating from Sicily. Descriptions of a dog resembling the Cirneco dell'Etna have been present since ancient times. In the 4th century BC, Aristotle describes a dog with identical characteristics, and Sicilian coins from the 6th century represent a dog near a Phoenician deity. Sicilian farmers and hunters have preserved the Cirneco dell'Etna throughout the centuries. Its traditional use is rabbit hunting. This breed is described as a lively, cheerful, and affectionate one. It has a lot of temperament, great resistance, and is very tough and agile, the perfect hunting dogs. The Cirneco dell'Etna is a dog with a strong personality. That's why it must be trained very early in obedience and, in particular, recall. From a young age, you need to take him out and get him used to the leash. And for those living in apartments, keep in mind, this breed needs to exercise constantly. The Cirneco dell'Etna is a greyhound-type dog, although it's classified in Group 5 by the FCI. That is to say, it is a primitive dog. It's a medium-sized breed perfectly adapted to working in difficult, bushy terrain. Number 17. American English Coonhound The American English Coonhound is a descendant of the English Foxhound, which was imported into the United States during the 17th and 18th century by various breeders, such as Robert Brooke, Thomas Walker, or even George Washington. Wanting to develop a breed of dog that was more robust and better adapted to the climate of the United States, breeders of the time mixed various hunting dogs, such as the English Foxhound. The name Coonhound comes from the fact that it was first developed to hunt raccoons. <coughs> The name of the breed is therefore a triple reference to its English ancestors, its country of birth, and its capabilities as a hunting dog. This dog is particularly praised for its great endurance and its ability to follow tracks over long distances, but also for its ability to adapt to different terrains and types of game. It can even climb trees to pursue its prey, something not many dog breeds can do. Today, it continues to be used for hunting, mainly as a pack dog, to flush out foxes or opossums. The breed is quite popular with hunters, but rarely used as a family dog. Number 16. Azawak. The Azawak takes its name from the African Valley of the same name, located between Mali and Niger. It has been used for centuries by the nomadic tribes of the Southern Sahara to catch fast game, such as gazelles, hares, or ostriches. The breed is also an essential companion in daily domestic life, who shares camp life and protects it from predators like hyenas, jackals, and lions. Its grace and elegance even earned it the title of ceremonial animal in certain social spheres. Oska, its name in the Tuareg language, designates both a greyhound but also an animal worthy of praise. The Azawak has a leaper profile necessary for the pursuit of fast African game while still maintaining great finesse. The bones and musculature are visible under its fine and short coat. Azawak is wise and quiet at home and then surprisingly lively outside, even playful with its peers. It's also very loyal and affectionate towards its master while being gentle with those it considers its friends. And on the other hand, it is much more reserved and even downright suspicious towards individuals it doesn't know. Raised in unique and sometimes difficult living conditions, the breed has inherited an assertive character without being excessively stubborn. The result is a very independent and intelligent breed. Number 15. Commandor. The origins of this giant dog are very ancient. Its ancestors were introduced into Hungary in the 9th century by the Magyars, a nomadic people from the steppes of Central Asia. The Commandor probably descends from the Tibetan Mastiff. It was mainly used for guarding Raqqa sheep in the Carpathians, but also for their defense, as well as that of their owners, against wolves or bears. Its unique coat served as camouflage. The dog blended into the mass of sheep thanks to its woolly fur, which gave it the advantage against predators that approached without suspicion. This also served as a shield against fangs and claws. 
the Hungarian Shepherd Dog has therefore fulfilled this mission for more than a thousand years, and it still remains very popular in the country today. Bred and selected for its courage and strength, the breed is considered an integral part of the national heritage. Unfortunately, it experienced a sharp decline during the Second World War, after which its overall numbers dropped drastically. However, some enthusiasts have undertaken to relaunch its breeding, while attempting to carry out a few crosses to obtain new breeds. They nevertheless took care to maintain a standard as close as possible to the original of these large white dogs. The Commodore was officially recognized by the FCI in 1954, however, it remains rare throughout the world. Number 14. Canaan Dog with a coat the color of the desert, pointed ears, and a sturdy body, the Canaan dog looks like a wild dog. Originally from Israel, the Canaan dog is one of the oldest breeds in the world. Certain passages in the Bible and even cave paintings in the Sinai Desert dated back around 2000 BC already mentioned herding dogs. At the time, they were referred to as Caliph Kanani in reference to the region of Canaan from which they originated. This breed, therefore, stayed wild for a very long time, or semi-domesticated, to guard Bedouin camps. The Canaan dog remains a primitive dog, its evolution not having been controlled or dictated by humans, but having first taken place under the influence of natural selection. It has adapted to the climatic conditions of Israel perfectly well. The Canaan dog is defined by its strong and well-balanced silhouette. Remarkably agile, but with powerful and well-muscled limbs, its square body has a well-sloped chest with arched ribs. Its tail is set high and has bushy hair. The coat is double, a tight, hard, and straight top coat which can reach a medium length and a lush undercoat. The color varies depending on the individual. Sand, golden, red-brown, and cream shades remain the most typical, even if black individuals do exist. Number 13. Harrier A large hound, the Harrier is a dog that excels in hunting. It closely resembles the Beagle and the English Foxhound. It is lively, energetic, and affectionate, a pleasant pet which is especially suited for very dynamic owners. The Harrier breed was first developed in the 13th century in England by Sir Elias of Midhope. It is undoubtedly the oldest of all English breeds, but its origins remain very mysterious. Some think that it comes from crosses between the St. Hubert, the Talbot, now extinct, and the Basset Hound, and others rather between the English Foxhound, the Fox Terrier, and the Greyhound. In any case, this dog was created to be athletic and very skilled and effective in hunting hares in packs. Today, this dog breed has become very rare. The Harrier is a dog with a balanced temperament. It's a cheerful dog who is sociable and affectionate with the family. The Harrier loves to play with children. On the other hand, its sociability makes it a very bad guard dog. A hunting dog par excellence, it is full of energy and enduring. It adapts to all terrains. On the other hand, accustomed to being in a pack, it does not tolerate solitude well and will not hesitate to make this known by barking quite loudly. Number 12. Shiasi Dog the Shiasi dog is distinguished by its lean, muscular body, its medium short, wiry white coat, and its innate ability to hunt and protect. They've lived among people in China's Guizhou province for centuries and are considered a lucky omen that brings wealth to their household. They are an affectionate dog and are extremely loyal to their owners. Intelligent and eager to please, they make training easy and will adapt well to most situations. They were originally trained as guard dogs due to their great sense of smell and speed combined with long-lasting endurance. Nowadays, Shiasi, or their official name, Shiasi Kwan, are primarily hunting or companion dogs. They have a strong hunting instinct, so they need to be kept on a leash if they're out for a walk in case they smell something interesting. Because they're used to hunting in packs, they get along well with other dogs, but if they're not raised with other small animals, they may view them as prey. Number 11. Stabby Hoon 
The Stabihoon is very little known outside of its country of origin, the Netherlands. Its ancestors are said to be Spaniels imported by the Spanish during their occupation of the country. In the 19th century, some texts described a long-haired, piebald dog, a good hunting dog. It was then used by farmers and agricultural workers to hunt small to medium-sized game, such as moles, rodents, and even polecats. The Stabihoon has demonstrated its versatility over the generations, and although it was very popular with farmers, it managed to gain popularity among all social classes in the Netherlands, and then outside the country. Today, the Stabihoon is found in Belgium, England, and Scandinavia. The Stabihoon has normal proportions, its body is strong, and its muscles well developed. This is a gentle, obedient, and loyal dog. It really has all the qualities to fulfill the role of a companion dog. It's very close to its masters and likes to follow them wherever they go. However, they are not made to stay alone for too long. They really enjoy the company of children and are playful with them. While they can be vigilant with visitors, they are never aggressive but will alert you if they judge that a strange event is taking place. However, they are not good guard or defense dogs. They are too curious and interested in their environment. Number 10. Chongqing Dog The Chongqing is a breed of dog native to Sichuan and Chongqing, China. Quite rare and very little known outside its region of origin, there are, however, a few breeding sites in the United States. The history of this breed dates back to the Western Han Dynasty more than 2,000 years ago. Archaeologists discovered a huge cemetery dating from the Western Han Dynasty in Jiangbei district of Chongqing on April 20, 2000. A large number of terracotta statues depicting dogs similar to this breed were found. Some of them seem to be protective gods responsible for escorting the occupants of the tombs of noble families into the afterlife. These dogs were once very common in the Chongqing region. This ancient breed was developed and used for hunting in the mountains of eastern Sichuan. In modern days, the Chongqing dog is not used for hunting anymore due to urbanization and the breed's numbers rapidly declined. The restoration of the breed was successfully undertaken in the 1970s. They have since become popular working and companion dogs once again. This breed is an excellent guard dog. They are courageous and intelligent. The Chongqing dog can protect its family and its owners, but if a stranger is friendly to it and the owner is present, the dog will respect them. However, these dogs are known to be wary of strangers, and if they sense a threat, they will become alert and attack if any wrong movements or suspicious actions are made. Number 9. Chinook the Chinook is a Nordic breed that is descended from a single ancestor. The breed was born from the cross between a farm dog and a husky on Arthur Walden's New Hampshire farm in 1917. Chinook was the name of one of three puppies born to the female northern husky. He was a large, mixed dog breed and the father of all modern Chinook dogs. Chinook was a natural sportsman, a freak of nature unlike any of his parents. He was an exceptional sled dog and went on Admiral Byrd's South Pole Expedition in 1927. Chinook's offspring, which inherited his color, size, and general characteristics, were bred to combine the strength of the large sled dog with the speed of smaller racing dogs. In the early 1900s, the Chinook set records for distance traveled, loads carried, and travel times. This breed has been bred over the years by a small number of dedicated breeders. Still, though, the Chinook is a very rare breed. In fact, the Guinness Book of World Records listed the Chinook as the rarest dog in the world in 1966 when only 125 existed. They are particularly good at carding because unlike their Siberian and Alaskan counterparts, they are easily trained in obedience and can work very calmly in harness. Number 8. Kai Ken this breed descends from medium-sized dogs that once existed in Japan. However, its origins remain complicated to trace. They would have lived in packs in the ancient province of Kai, from which they take the name, and today corresponds to the prefecture of Yamanashi, west of Tokyo. 
After being domesticated by man, the Kai Ken dog then became a valuable aid in hunting deer or wild boar. Known for its rugged mountains and forests, the Kai region was also isolated and with little commerce. These two factors contributed to the establishment of a pure breed, in addition to the tendency of these dogs to group together in packs. The selections made by man were mainly aimed at fixing the brindle pattern of the coat, today characteristic of the breed. This singularity also explains its nickname, Tora Inu, or the Tiger Dog. Since 1934, Kai Ken has been declared a national monument in Japan. The Kai Ken has a robust construction as well as a well-proportioned silhouette and developed musculature. The Tora Inu is distinguished by its brindle coat, which can be black, red, or black and fawn. Number 7. Sholo It Squintly the Sholo Squintly, or Mexican hairless dog, may very well have descended from the first dogs to ever set paw on the North American continent. According to Aztec legends, the Sholo Squintly was a gift from Jalat, the god of darkness, death, and spirits, that is, the counterpart of Quetzalcoatl. The Sholo was represented as a man with the head of a dog. He created this dog from a splinter that he took from the bone of life. For this reason, the Aztecs considered the breed sacred, so much so that when someone important died, their Jolo Quintly was sacrificed and buried with them, since they believed the dog would guide them to the afterlife. The name comes from the Nahuatl language. Jolet means deformed, hairless, or strange, and the word Itzquintle means dog. The breed makes an exceptional companion, and it's said that it keeps evil beings and spirits away from their home. The Sholo Quintly dog breed can be born in three sizes, toy, medium, and standard. They're always alert to what's happening around them and are capable of dying to defend their home and master. They are faithful, and although many people don't like their appearance, their popularity has increased in the last decade thanks to their intelligence. They're very easy to train and super obedient. Number 6. Thai Ridgeback Originally from Thailand, the Thai Ridgeback is an ancient dog breed, having existed since antiquity. It was used to pull carts and escort goods convoys and tanks in the eastern part of Thailand. It also served as a guard dog on farms and homes. Very versatile, it was also used as a hunting dog. It attacked both vermin, like rats, and large prey representing a danger to humans, such as cobras and wild boars. The very little communication and transport between the east and west of Thailand allowed this dog to retain its original physical characteristics. This breed did not undergo any human intervention, which means that even today, it's considered a very primitive dog breed. Moreover, until the 1990s, the breed was exclusively bred in its country of origin. It was only once modern means of transport were introduced to Thailand that the Thai Ridgeback began to be known throughout the country and then exported abroad. It's a medium-sized dog with short hair that forms a ridge on its back, hence the name. Number 5. Bedlington Carrier Originally, the Bedlington Terrier comes to us from the Rothbury region, located in the north of England. The first mentions of its existence date back to the 18th century, when it assisted in hunting badgers or rabbits. They also went down in the mines alongside the workers to chase away pests. With its graceful appearance and athletic body, the Bedlington Terrier is more like a greyhound than a terrier. They give the impression of being able to gallop at high speed, which they are entirely capable of, with light and elastic gaits. Its limbs are long and muscular, while its back presents a natural arc. Its chest is high, quite broad, with flat ribs. Thick at birth, its tail tapers to the tip and forms a pretty curve. The breed has a very unique and characteristic coat. Thick, curly, and felted makes it look like a little lamb. Its coat can be white, blue, brown, or sand, with or without tan markings. A long neck supports a pear-shaped head. The Bedlington Terrier's ears are moderate in size, oblong in shape, and velvety in texture. 
Finally, its eyes reveal a triangular appearance, a hazel or dark brown hue, as well as a very gentle expression. Number 4. Finnish Spitz The Finnish Spitz is known for its elegance and distinguished appearance. Medium in size, its constitution is solid. It has very beautiful mid-length hair on its body, except on its head and limbs where it's a little shorter, especially in males. Its coat is red-brown to golden-brown with bright, lighter shades on certain parts of its body. The eyes of the Finnish Spitz are almond-shaped and dark, giving it a lively and intelligent look. It also has characteristic small ears pointed, standing up on its head and covered with fine hair. The origins of the Finnish Spitz are not well known. However, this is a dog whose ancestors go back very far. As the name suggests, it appeared in some regions of Finland. This dog was used for hunting game birds, but also elk. It's very widespread in its country of origin, but also in Sweden. Number 3. Catahoula Leopard Dog The Catahoula Leopard Dog is native to the state of Louisiana in the southern United States. It was mainly developed near Lake Catahoula, after which it is named. Theories surrounding its origins are diverse. The most widespread is linked to the landing of Spanish explorers led by Hernando de Soto in 1539. At that time, it was customary for explorers to travel with dogs trained for hunting in order to ensure their survival. So initially, the landed dogs, Spanish Mastiffs and perhaps Greyhounds, were crossed with local breeds that resembled wolves. They wanted to create a breed of dogs better suited to hunting. The Catahoula Leopard Dog is a strongly built Mastiff, robust without being massive. It is a powerful and muscular animal with a body longer than its height at the withers. The back is broad and well-muscled and the chest is deep and goes down to the level of the elbows, allowing it to store a large quantity of air and to be more enduring. The Catahoula Leopard Dog has oval-shaped eyes whose color varies between blue, amber, brown, or hazel. Dogs with blue eyes are highly sought after. Number 2. Lagotto Romagnolo The Lagotto Romagnolo descends from Italian dogs intended for retrieving game in the water. Its name means in Italian, the dog of the lakes of Romagna, which very well reflects its initial use as well as the region of northern Italy from which it comes, Romagna. It was used at least from the Italian Renaissance for this task, particularly in the marshes and lagoons present in its native region. In addition to keeping their master's company and watching over their homes, they were second to none when it came to retrieving shot ducks in the water. Many specialists argue that the Lagotto Romagnolo is the oldest breed of game retriever dog and that it is the distant ancestor of many more recent breeds, such as the Golden Retriever or the Poodle. It's also one of the oldest Italian dog breeds. Towards the end of the 19th century, a large part of the marshes in the region were drained to serve as agricultural land, so the Lagotto Romagnolo lost its job. However, farmers and other landowners quickly discovered another great talent it had for searching truffles, the very pricey mushrooms popular in the gastronomy world. Indeed, this dog's excellent sense of smell combined with its thick coat protecting it from branches made it extremely efficient. Number 1. Hovawurt The Hovawurt is a working dog par excellence. Indeed, this dog is used to help humans in various activities, guarding, tracking, rescue, but also helping disabled people. Its many qualities make the Hovawurt an excellent companion for families as well. Originally from Germany, the Hovawurt breed is very old, dating back to the Middle Ages. It was mainly used to guard herds on German farms. Its name means guardian of the farm. Wurt means guardian and Hova derives from Hof, meaning farm. The Hovawurt is a gentle, kind, and very intelligent dog that excels in several areas. It can serve as a guard dog, companion dog, protection dog, and even tracking and rescue dog. It has a powerful sense of smell combined with a natural instinct for protection. Extremely kind, it's an excellent family dog who really enjoys the company of children. 
It is vigilant but without being aggressive and protects its family well. They are rather sociable with their peers and other animals, but males can sometimes be dominant with other dogs of the same species. All these skills make it a very versatile dog, highly appreciated as a guide dog for the blind. There are so many dog breeds in the world. If you had to choose your absolute favorite, although we know it's hard because they're all adorable, which one would it be? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.